In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to take the sound you've imported, hopefully successfully, as an MP3. And I'm going to show you how to put it in to your Scratch project. So, assuming it's been correctly downloaded, and if not, feel free to check out my other video on the subject of downloading videos from YouTube. You uh, want to attach the sounds for your project that are going to play throughout your entire project to the background. The reason I suggest people do that is because if you attach it to a sprite and then you delete the sprite, you also delete the music. But you're very unlikely to delete your backdrop. You're, you're, you're not going to get rid of that. So you're going to want to make sure that your backdrop, that you're on your backdrop. And the best way to tell is just to look over and see that backdrop is the middle tab instead of costumes being the middle tab. So I'm going to go with the backdrops and I'm just going to, because this is a uh, like theater um, backdrop, I'm just going to select the theater, um, the theater um, background. Um, the backdrop doesn't matter with the sound, but it just kind of looks cool. So then I'm going to click on the new, the sounds tab. And once I find that sounds tab, I'm going to get rid of this uh, this pop sound because I'm not going to use that sound. But I am going to import a sound. So I'm going to click on that little uh, sound bar and then kind of scroll up to where it says import sound. And I've put the sound on my desktop. And here the sound sits on my desktop ready to be uploaded. I click on that open and it up uh, uploads the sound. Now on some systems, especially Chromebooks, this can be a really lengthy process, but I have a, a pretty fast machine. And I can just test it. Yep, it's there. And notice there are all kinds of effects you can do. You can even edit things and cut things out, and you can select little regions and delete them and do all kinds of really fancy um, editing um, with your sounds. But for now, I'm just going to, or what I want to do with my sound is just, just leave it in place. Um, that's exactly the sound I want to play. So... When I run my project, it still doesn't play because I haven't written code that an event to trigger the start of the sound. So I'm going to have my sound start right away as soon as they click the green flag to start the uh, Scratch Rock video. So the way I do that is I go to uh, events, sorry, events, and when the green flag is clicked, that's the event that's going to trigger the start. Notice I'm coding on the backdrop. You can add code to the backdrop, just like you can add codes to sprites like Scratch. You can add code to backdrops. And I'm going to have the sound file go, and I'm going to have it play till done. Um, I can also just have it play. Either way um, would be fine. Um, this will cause a pause, which I uh, like. none of this code will run, so I'm not going to pick that one. I'm going to pick this one so that it doesn't pause. And then I'm also going to put in like an escape clause because as I'm coding, I might decide I want the sound to stop and then you kind of go crazy. Uh, you can hit the stop button, but sometimes I want to see the sound to the actions continue without the sound too. And I'm just going to make it so that when the space bar is clicked, all the sounds stop. So you'll be back. And then I hit the space bar and the sound stop. It's just kind of uh, the stop sign works just fine too. But I have now imported a sound and attached it to the green flag event. Make sure it's in backdrops though, um, rather than being in the sprites.